Huh? Stop right there, criminal scum! This video is not made for children. If you're under age 13 or younger, please, for the love of Christ, live at once, or you will be judged! Hey guys, what's up? So today I'm going to review another Transformers Generation 1 for you guys. Yay! I know some of you guys are going to say, please stop. No, make me. So today, I'm going to review an SD 1986 Transformers Generation 1. And the one I have here is... Ultra Magnus, the Autobot Commander. Now before I'm going to continue this, if you guys have seen the last um, Generation 1 review, what I did, go ahead and check it out. It's going to be in the end of the video on the outro and the inform and the information symbol on the type right. Same thing with the full playlist. And also this video is not made for kids. This is for adults and teenage collectors. So yeah. But also this video is not a sponsor. But of course if I can grab the piece of paper I have for the copy of it. I got it. Yep, I got it. Like I said, this video is not a sponsor, but a shout out to the Retro Exchange. Exchange. So yes, thanks to them, they let me borrow some of their stuff to to let me to review, and I'm very happy to give you guys the review what you want. Well, no, most like what I can find. So Ultra Magnus comes with a lot of accessories. He comes with his, of course, his head, with well, the helmet head. Two launchers. He does come with four missiles, but there are the two missiles in storage, so I found the two missiles. He comes with his giant fist hands for the Ultra Magnus. Two little hands for the cab, which I'll tell you, this in, tell you that in a minute. His crotch plate, his gun, and lastly but not least, this chest piece. So yeah, that's all the content here for you guys. And also, by the way, it's raining outside, so I apologize to the thunder noise. And also, I have the air conditioning on because it is hot, and I am very sweaty. So let's move this out of the way and show you guys Ultra Magnus in his vehicle mode. So here it is, Ultra Magnus in his vehicle mode. His vehicle mode is representing a a a cab truck with a trailer car trailer on it and I want to say it looks so well I want to start off by showing you guys the cab first so I'll move the, the hauler out of the way leave this for a cipher now and here it is the cab now the cab if you guys remember this is a repaint of Optimus Prime I don't have the Optimus Prime figure with me because it's in storage, but I will find it and review it to you guys. But this is like I said, this is just a repaint of it. Painting sculpt any detail on this guy on this one looks so well. The silver with the white it looks good, even with the chrome, beautifully good. It does roll pretty well. I want to mention one thing. You can see the Autobot symbol right here and the one of the rub symbol right there if you can barely see it. There you go, one of the rub symbol. I know you can't see it, right? It does look pretty well. I want to mention one thing, but I do wish that Hasbro tell us why they created this one, like repaint this one and swap it there. I know this is just an old figure of it. Um, there's nothing much of it. Just a just, you know, just a repaint. The cab can open like this. You guys own the you know the the original Optimus Prime. You could put the Matrix of Leadership in there. So yeah, pretty much that's it. Let's bring in the trailer. So here it is the trailer, what it looks like. A big giant hunk of plastic with some die cast metal on it. Which I forgot to mention one thing, this one is have a good weight. Metal, metal, the whole cap is metal, but some of the pieces are plastic. So yeah, even the tires are made of rubber. So, and the glakes and the chrome, the fuel tank, exhaust and the tire rims are chrome plastic over here is just a whole hunk of plastic the, the tires are made of rubber and this piece right here is die cast just looking over by this one it looks so good I like it a lot but I wish they could give us some more paint 
like over here they need some more paint to it same thing on the panels as well now not much of it of this trailer but it does have a feature now I'll bring the cap over here so so it doesn't you know screw me over now this one you could carry four Autobots uh, vehicles so if I can flip these pieces down bring this piece down you have to flip these and you have to bring this down like that it's on a ratchet by the way so I picked four Autobot vehicles for this so I have Hoist haven't reviewed him yet but I will do it soon so you got a hoist carefully not let him fall over hound flip this up easily and carefully make sure to flip these back like that so that they will tab in so you house I'll hoist hound down there sergeant cup and lastly but not least hot rod which you can barely fit in so if I can probably switch with Hound, put him up there, close these up, and there you go. Now he's ready to carry all the Autobots to go in battle, which is look pretty well, but sometimes it looks pretty stupid. All right, let's get them out of here because time to transform him, this one into the you know the the white um, Ultra Magnus. I don't know the actual name to you know. The transformation of that one. I don't know the actual name of it. So, remove the cap out of the way. Now, to transform this one into robot mode is easy and simple. First thing first, flip up the legs. Flip the feet up like that. Untap these. Bring this out. Flip the head like that. Pull the arms down like that. Bring the hands that he have. Bring this right here. Bring this one to here. See, so it does. Does a gun fit him over here? Yep, it does. Plug in the gun. And there you have the white Optimus Prime. I actually don't know how to. The actual name of that one, oh, Ultra Magnet in his robot mode. That's what I'm looking at at the book, right? So that's Ultra Magnet in his robot mode. Which, come on, seriously? It's just a repaint of Optimus Prime. Looking over the Ultra Magnet in his robot mode, his normal robot mode, he looks okay, I guess. Mine is, you can see the gap right here, which it is kind of disturbing. But it's just a good figure. You can see the nice, nice head scope of him. Mm, pretty good, but I wish they could paint it a bit more. You can see the stickers detailing to give him more, more detailing on him. Well, like I said, I don't like stickers. You can plug in the gun up here. Like that. So he's look like he's shooting. Some Decepticon uh, punks. Decepticons. Ultra Magnet is the robot mode got some articulation. No head articulation, by the way. His arms can go 360 degrees. Son of swivel. Arms can go like like this and that, but that due to the transformation. No bicep swivel. His his elbow bend can go 90 degrees. He do have some knee articulation. Does go 90 degrees. Legs can go only backwards like that but that due to the transformation and ankle pivot so you do get some decent posing of him some I uh, yeah, it's kind of de disappointing and depressing of that guys so yeah it's, it's pretty sad
But overall, this his robot mode is upgrade. So yeah. All right, now let's transform Ultra Magnet into his Super Robot mode. So to start with that, remove the hands, both of them, and you want to make sure to flip this, having this. But you want to have the head out. Do the same thing on this side. Flip the feet down. Now put him to the side for now because we need the trailer. Now for the trailer, bring this piece like that. Next what you want to do is unpeg these pieces right there nice and carefully. Just put it like that. Flip this whole piece up like that. Now for the arms, you want to bring this piece up here, bring it here, do the same thing on the other side. Make sure to tap these in, there's a tab here and a tab hole right there. Tap these in. Make sure to string out the legs nice and perfectly, make sure you can hear the quick sound. Now for, for Ultra Magnus. Um, come by to the back. There's some pegs right there in the back. So peg these in. I don't know why this one is foot cut. There we go. Now plug in the crotch peach cross crotch piece down there chest piece right there I haven't shown you guys to plug in this and uh, this on the vehicle mode because it doesn't want to plug in also it doesn't shoot that well I don't know why this the thing the inside of the spring is kind of messed up so I need to follow need to find a way to fix this I guess I don't know but plug these on the side. There's a peg here. Bring in the giant fist. Plug this. And here. There we go. Do the same thing on the other side. Plug in the gun. Plug in the hand. Lastly but not least, put on the Ultra Magnet helmet on. Make sure the got him nice and perfect. Uh, I don't. I don't. There's. I don't know. There's a way to lock this piece in. But all right. Plug in his gun, and there you have Ultra Magnus in his Super Robot mode. Yeah, the name of it, of the Super Robot mode, is kind of dumb, but just his Ultra Magnus in his Robot mode, which it looks pretty good. Painting, sculpting, and detailing in this one looks so well. Then his Robot mode, but he does look. So so good minus the back kibble right there is kind of disturbing so yeah you can see the nice head scope of him so if I can focus on him nice beautiful head scope on him pretty good articulation wise he doesn't have any head articulation which is kind of sucks his arms can go 360 degrees because it's on a ratchet. His arm cannot go in and out and his gun just fall off. Bend at the elbow. He do have some race elbow joints right here on a swivel right here. Wrist is on a peg so you can move it but not that much. 
no waste, no leg articulation, that's kind of sucks, but it is what it is, so yeah. Alright, I'm going to pause the video, give you guys my final result, and that pretty much is it. Overall, Ultra Magnus is an okay figure, it's just, um... Estoy haciendo video. No, estoy haciendo video. Sorry about that, one of my co-workers asked me who you call and, she, and I said no, I'm making a video. Oh well. Overall this figure is a pretty good one. Um, this, this is kind of sad, it's just, you know, not much articulation. It is pretty more depressing than ever, so yeah. But it's a good figure. Now if you guys want to see the last Generation 1 review of what I did, which is highbrow, go right ahead and take a look. Until next time you guys, leave a like, comment, subscribe, and until next time I'm out.